a funny <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> uh, Right, yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. Thanks for that, Alan. Yeah, no problem. That's nice. Yeah. Mmm, what was that? Mmm. <laughs> I like it. No. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm waggling on. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Who is the mightiest now? Goodbye, Mr. Norris. Oh, you see how we come up there? Winning fish. Thank you very much. Nanite. That's put him to bed with slippers and a pipe. That's another challenge video done. And I've absolutely smashed him to pieces. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Good night, everybody. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> he's not, he thinks he's funny, but he ain't. Right, see you later, folks. Oh, damn it. Good morning, Fisher people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV, and this is David Wood from Back Up TV. Oh, thank you, Alan. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Right, today it is a challenge match. You've been asking for loads of challenge matches from, from us since we last did the one at New Biggin Pond, was it? Mm. Where Dave smashed me up, didn't you, pal? Yeah, I took you to my local, didn't I? And smashed you up with the eating competition, the bounty competition. And the fishing competition as well, Alan. Yeah, I was going to say a bit one-sided that, but you also smashed me at fishing and all, didn't you? Yeah. Damn I think it. all three, really. Yeah. Did you just swear? No. All right. Says, no swearing. Says, Damn no it. Swear. No swearing on this show. No <laughs> swearing. Right. So, right. go on then. <laughs> you do it, you do it. Today's challenge is... Right, so we're at Lindome Lakes. Have you said that already? No, no. All no, right, that's we're that's at right. Lindome Lakes, a fantastic complex. We've just had a lovely breakfast. In fact, Alan has just brought me a lovely breakfast, haven't you? So thanks very much for that. I did, I. I forgot about all that. Mind you, he did buy me fish and chips after that fantastic match that we fished in the UK champs at the uh, Decoy Lakes. Yeah, yeah. Great, I, that one, it, Dave? I didn't like the fish, so that's why I give it Alan. I bought two of them, I thought, oh, I'm right hungry, I'll buy two, and then I thought, no, I'll give him one, it's crap. Oh, so you didn't think about it, you just <laughs> it off. Nice one, Dave. <laughs> so, uh, yes, we're going to do, today we're going to do something different, we're going to do a five, but you can't, basically it's under five pound, and you have to go to the supermarket and buy whatever you want, Apart from sweet corn, luncheon meat, bread bread and stuff like that, so none of those baits, but £5 in a supermarket, buy what you want and we've got to fish with it, basically. So we're doing the £5 supermarket challenge, aren't we? we That's what it's called. Are. Did you only manage to spend five quid? Uh, no, I was under £5. What other goodies did you buy? Uh, I controlled myself and didn't buy anything. No snack attack? No, nothing. That was good, weren't it, am I? I'm impressed. So uh, after that last one, I got a lot, quite, quite a few comments saying, "Dave, you're uh, looking a bit larger on that." Uh, after the double Big Mac, what were it? What did we have? Oh, Lancy and Air. Yeah, Lancy and Air Burger. So uh, I thought, honourable. I've controlled myself today, and uh, no stack attack. So, Alan, what uh, what we're going to do with the pegs then? Tell us. Well, shall we have? I've got it. Oh, have you got it? Oh, yeah. no. Very well prepared, Dave. Better than your hook tying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Never preps any oaks. No, I don't. So this is heads and the point, which you which reckon's best peg? I don't know. Well, we're on Willows, aren't we? Willows on, Pond, yeah. Willows Lake, and we've got we've got two pegs on the point, haven't we? So we've yeah. got this one here behind us, and this one. I don't know what numbers they are, do you? Let's have a look. Two texts. I swear, push him in. No numbers, no numbers. Can't see it, I don't know. Don't know what numbers it is. Mm. But we're on the we're on the point on Willows. Yeah. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to flip for it. So what do you say? Heads for this one. Heads closer. for this one near closest to us. Tails, Tails for, for the one. point. Right. Are you ready? Shall I do all the honours? Yeah. So you need to call one, don't you? No. It, uh, well, no. I'm going first. So whatever it lands on is mine. All oh, right. There you're going to you're going to come a cars in me at no. the. Uh, so whatever it is is mine. So this is yours, yeah. Tails. Tails. The point. Best peg, Anna. Oh, I knew you'd say that. It had to be best peg, didn't it? Right, we've got some bait revealing to do, haven't we? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to... Do you want me to go first, Alan? Is that okay? You can, yeah. Since you you're going to win it now, you're on the best peg. I might as well go first oh, at yeah, summer. We need to know how much you've spent first. Right, okay. So I went to Sainsbury's this morning. And, and I, I went to Morrison's. Oh, I'm posher than you, Sainsbury's. Better than Morrison's, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I spent £3.95. Can you believe that? And I bought, I'll just show you my, they're in here. So this is what I bought today. I'll show you one at once. I bought some red kidney beans. No tins on the bank, ladies and gents, but he's let us just use them for today. And don't worry, we will be putting them in the bin. So just uh, remind everybody, no tins on the bank, but just for today we're allowed. So I've got some red kidney beans. Ooh, all right. Proper carp base. Carp okay. bait. I've got some lovely garden peas. A nice right. for my fish and chips then, Dave. Right, okay. So that's what I've got for up, mates. I've also got... Can of baked beans. These were cheap. These three ninety five. I spent. Now these two together. Now this is what I'm going to feed oh, with. What you got here? This is what I'm going to feed with, and this is cauliflower rice. Now basically, it's just cauliflower, and it? it absolutely stinks. This stuff. Um, so that's what I'm going to feed with. Hopefully, it doesn't float because <laughs> I'll be in trouble if it does. <laughs> that's what I'm going to feed with, and then look at this. What I've got for the hook bait. Pomegranates. Excellent. So that's like my hook bait it's as like well. A red sweet corn, man. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's good thinking. That. So that's that's mine, and that I is. spent three pound ninety five, Alan. So that's well, well within the budget. That's so uh, far better than mine. Oh, by the way, it. before we get onto my bait, I wish you could have seen Dave walking down here. <laughs> it's a bit steep down there, so he let his trolley go. I went. That's going in, that Dave. I've never seen him run before. No, yeah. I did that. <laughs> did that. Well, it weren't running, it were more trotting, wasn't it? No, you were panicking. It oh, already yeah, late, panic wasn't it? a little bit, yeah. Right, I thought I'd spent £3.95. I've just worked it out. I've spent £3.93. Very close from Morrison's. So here we go, folks. My first one is butter beans. Yeah. So I can either hook one or I can mush it up for a bit of ground bait. It'll create a cloud. That's the theory. I've never oh, used them right. before. Yeah, I'm yeah. just guessing. My next one is chickpeas. Yeah, chickpeas. We all like chickpeas. We're curry. I hope the fish have got vindaloo in mind. But anyway, that's the same thing. We can hook them, we can mush a few up, create a cloud. That's oh. the theory behind that one. Very good, Alan, so far. I've also bought some raspberry turnovers. Whoa! Are you going to up one of them? You got one, Dave? Wow, I've thanks. got one! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sharing one of them. God. No, I had to start to get that extra. Well done. Were they, were they in with the price or not? No, oh, no, no, oh, that right. were extra, that were extra. Then I've got some... Oh... Mussels. Fishy mussels. The Fishermania champion. Started on mussels, didn't you, Addy? <laughs> Mussels, you can't fail with mussels, I hope. So that's going on the hook. Chop a little bit up, put it in with the cloudy mash stuff. There you go. That's the theory behind that one. Is and that it, Ellen? Eh? Is that it? No. I thought you said no cheese. Oh, no, no, it's a no, no cheese. Lunch meat. Oh, no luncheon meat. No luncheon meat. Damn it. I've also brought some red Leicester. I love it. If fish don't like it, not sure does. I'll be having a bit of that and all, I think. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to give you it, though. You're not taking it yourself. Right then, so you've seen the baits, we've, uh, we're in the budget, so shall we catch some fish, Alan? We shall try and be the mightiest. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> right, so here's all my bait set up. So I've got the corn, flour, rice, corn rice, whatever it is. I put that in a bit of 
water because it seems to float so that might not be no good I thought that was going to be great but we'll have to see we've got the peas they're nice and huckable we've got the beans we've got the kidney beans and then we've got the pomegranates look pomegranates are lovely to eat aren't they normal so that's what we've got that stinks by the way absolutely stinks so I don't know what I'm going to do with that uh, if it floats it floats we've had it but it might have to be that we're just fishing hard stuff and just uh, that's why I've got my pot so I'm going to be maybe fill them up with a few peas or beans or whatever and then uh, that's it uh, I think that's what we're potting possibly maybe half of one of them or I don't know maybe a skin of that on Maybe a skin would be working. But we're set up. I've got two rigs. I'm going to fish one here. Just down here because it's quite shallow. Um, and there's just one out in front. And if we don't catch anything, then I'll be going longer. Um, so that plan. The mightiest is doing all sorts. If you see him, he's down there. He's, Come on. I don't know what he's doing, but he's hiding all this stuff. The future. Oh, God. So, he's taking it very seriously, he's the mightiest, and, uh, you know, I said it's only a bit of a laugh, but bloody hell, he wants to get one back on me, so uh, he's 3-0 he's <laughs> down, isn't he? So. <laughs> so, we're about all set up. Um, Alex says he's going to do a bit of streaming on there, so there might be a little bit of noise, of streaming noise, but hopefully they won't be, it won't interrupt our video. So, I'm all ready. That's what I'm going to be fishing. Oh, one just jumped there, look. That's what I'm going to be fishing with, and uh, we're going to have to see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Remember, we're only fishing an hour, so we've got an hour to catch whatever we can, put them in a keep net, and then weigh them. The biggest weight wins, so... That's that's where we're going. Noshus forgot to put his keep net in. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, right, we'll see you at the off. Right, I've got. Uh, I'm going to set a timer for an hour. So we've got an hour. And uh, are you ready, Alan? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to set the timer now as an hour. Okay. Okay. Right. We're off. So that will be when. It finishes. We are off, ladies and gents. So I'm gonna first of all put my pole cup on. What shall we go on? That stinks and all. I think we'll go on a pink. Sink alright then. Put a few peas in there, maybe put a bit of that in, see if it goes down or not. That's what we're going on. Alan's filling the edge in, I can see him now. <laughs> not watching me big. Well, I can't, I'm only telling people what you're doing, Alan. So we'll chuck a few peas down there, what else we got? That pomegranate sinks, should have checked this out shouldn't have before. No. This stuff is no good, it just floats. Well it's on the, see it on the bloody surface there. So I'm, what I'm going to have to do is fish, fish pea aren't I? Pea and this. Crack a bit of that kidney up I think. Chuck that down there because I ain't got much. Not much there. Anyway, we took a bit of kidney down there. And go out on the old pin. It's like fishing Trent. Because that aerator's on. Paul thought going like that, so I might have to. Uh, Pomegranates. 
Can you believe it? Oh no! He's in! Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? On the P as well. on the P. What do you think it is? Probably uh, nice I, would, one. I would say it's probably an F1. But uh, you never know. Take me time with it because it's uh, yes! Look at that! First fish of the day. Look at that nice chunky F1. One. one nil, eh? Look at that. Nice one That's presentation for you, not just chucking a feeder out like uh, like Alan. I have got feelings and I can hear you, you know. Oh sorry, can you? A few more peas in there, crushed up, uh, crush up a few of them. Oh, he's, he's changing already, you see. I know he won't be able to let me have it. Feed that inch side line. Couple of peas. Couple of crushed up kidneys. And a couple of pomegranates. Just got a feeling that these peas are going to be the better bait today, I would have thought. Just because they feel a bit softer and they look, you know, I know they're green and what have you, but I'm sure we'll just catch a few. Just think that they're the better bear. Oh! Flying brain, flying brain! <laughs> oh, this is great fun. Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. Did you see that fly out of the water like 100 miles an hour? Flying brain. Right, so I'm a. Oh, my God, it's possibly fun. <laughs> Even the skimmers love it, see? Right, what have I done here? Oh, no. Well, Woody. Ah, it's moving like this float. Woody is bagging. I had a little, I had a quick look in the margin because I put a bit of bait down. I just thought I'll have a quick look because they can be a bit greedy in here. But this is like river fishing, this. It's like, a, it's just not right. It's just not holding still. That's no good, that. That's nowhere near where I want it to be, where I've plumbed up. Let me start over here again. It's got the aerators on, into half tramming. So we can get it to settle where well, my bait's just gone there. Maybe. Right, there we are. And what I've done, I've put a little bit of that 
mushy in the butter beans and I've just put um, a bit of mussel on tiny little piece because that pace will be no good out there with the way that's moving it's moving like I'm on a river and I've bulked everything right down to the bottom let's just hope we get a bite I can't have him hammering me again, but I just cannot keep this still. He's right, I've not had a thing. I've not had a bite. I don't like the presentation of this with that aerator being on, it's just moving too fast. I cannot keep it still. I mean, look at that, I've moved a yard. That's no good. That's no good. Let's put it upstream. Let's get a nice, nice bit on. Let's move that back because we're only fishing in the other one. Right, just right there, on end. Might be a bit too close by it, really. We'll have to see. God, my hands are sticky as old. Beans everywhere, it stinks of cauliflower. But, I am up three, three up, two skimmers and an F1, but he only needs one carp as the mightiest and uh, you know what he's like, he's a jammy bugger. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go back out. Can't waste time on that because if Alan gets one, it, knowing my luck, it'll be a big carp at twelve pound and undo me. So let's go back out on what we were getting them bites on. Let's get back out to what we were doing. Because we were getting a few bites and at least putting odd fish in there we? so let's get back out Alan seems to have gone very quiet and he's uh, I don't think he's enjoying himself now but like I said he just needs to stay positive and keep feeding that down there because Never know, let's crush them bits up. Two peas. Folks, he's into another one, he's into a big one, he's absolutely smashing me. I've just gone for a quick look out there while I change my battery and what have you. <sighs> There's only five minutes left and I can't get uh, can't get a bite. So 
I'm going to have a, another look out there again. I keep seeing this. I don't know what these swirls are. They don't look like fish. Can't make out where it is, but it's like circle swirling here. Uh, I can't get a bite. So I'm going to go back out there on the floor. I've had a few minutes on this without uh, any success. I'm back out on the floor. So it was my only chance, but it's me. He's not doing a right good job of this landing. Look, he's been a bit semi-skimmed. Oh, oh, it is and all. It's about four to five pound. I need a miracle. I seem to need a lot of miracles when I'm fishing. Well, I thought the mussel might have got me a fish. He's put me to bed with that one. No chance of catching up now. Oh, this side. Can't seem to get a thing. Well, I'll try a bit of, a bit of butter bean with me, with me, yeah. Uh, that's if, if I can hook it. Put that baked bead on again and it's just gone again. Feels a bigger fish this one. It's all about technique, Alan. Uh, yeah. Presentation. When you know, you know. I think I, I'm getting lazy, I've left her on float on me. Oh, that float with this and all. Got me sent a free float. I give, I give it Alan, eh? Got a free float with this one, Alan. Oh, lovely. You're better than that one you're using, I think. Getting a bit cocky, I'll have to just watch what I'm doing here because it's uh, taking a bit. I think this one is a carp. Is it starting to rain? Is that just all splashing coming from my pen? Uh, yeah, it feels it. I've got, like I said, I've got a free float on this one. Big F1, I think. I thought it were. I thought it were a cart, but it's. Uh, what a bloody hell! What's this all about? Where's my mate Mark Roger when I need him to net me a fish? Oh, it's a big F1. 
Takes a bigger what? Look at that. It's a big F1. Don't tell Nosha. But it's hooked under the belly. There we go. Another fish. And we've got somebody else's tackle round his blooming float now to compete with. What's this all about? God. Look at that. Give that Nosha here, Nosha free float for you there. Oh, bumped it off. That's probably the last fish and all. Oh, we've got one. Oh, he's got one. I hope it ain't a big one. Oh, no, I am. What? I'm going to say I have that look in my eyes now, see if you get a tidbit. That's time. Time. That is time, ladies and gentlemen. Nosh has got one right at the end. Oh. That's it. A fish! Yeah! There you go, Dave. Mm. That was it. It wasn't even hooked in the mouth. Right, that is the challenge match over. And um, I'll just let you know how my match went. I had three F1s and two skimmers. Two skimmers, Al. I had. Yeah, well done, Dave. <laughs> Alan is not happy. What, what happened? Come on. What, what happened? Well, I plumbed the margin up and it was as deep as anything. So I thought, and it was a margin flower. So I thought, I'll have a look out there and laziness. It's an F1 venue this. I just thought, well with bigger baits it'll still be alright. I should have put an F1 float and I was getting indications but wrong float, too thick a uh, what do you call bristle. it? Bristle. Too thick a bristle for an F1. Well I tell you what, I've got some Tony Brooks floats which are absolutely perfect. Thanks Tony, you've won me this challenge mate. <laughs> I've got some in my box, I'm gonna get I'm gonna give the mightiest a couple. And you can use them because well, the fantastic. No, no, it I've got plenty. Oh, I've right. got plenty of floats. It was laziness. I thought oh, right. we'll, we'll, we'll get it. You were chomping it a bit as well, weren't you? Mate, I went to the shop and got ourselves a couple of drinks. I I, you had all the time in the world. Don't blame me. Ask me what I were up to. <sighs> what? <laughs> you fed that margin, hadn't you? While I went to the shop, <laughs> I actually videoed myself. Uh, pre baiting that. I'll, I'll be naughty, folks. I'll be naughty. So you speaking so you, about now? Listen, you were f bad, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, you don't swear on this oh, channel, sorry. Dave. You were trying to. No wonder I've won and you've not caught all, have you? <laughs> eh? So I've like, I lost a fish, didn't I? But now, if I if I had to be fair, I should have just I should have made you wait five more minutes. I should have put a, an F1 float on, and I reckon them little indications the float would have been under that. And that toe as well, I didn't like that toe. It would drag you through everything. Listen, that. we've been in the same area, haven't we? We mm. both had to deal with it. Just I've got a better fishing brain than you. That's that's all. <laughs> you know, I've I've bulked my shot up, put some back shot on, overshot it. You know what I mean? Come I were lazy. Come I, on. I, I ran out I ran out of string. 
and and who would be the lazy one, the fat guy? You know what I mean? And I've I've done him. So anyway, Alan, you've lost another challenge. I mean. I don't know what I've weighed, but I've had three F1s. We're not going to bother weighing it because you've only caught one skimmer, haven't you? So the and a foul looked it. Yeah, and wrong bait, I think. The the peas I've caught on, the baked beans I've caught on, and um, the pomegranates they were they were too soft, so I've just fed them. So maybe that's I brought into on a, a bit. Nice one like cheese. All right, listen, you ain't caught a thing, so shut up. Um. I'm just telling them about my match here, you know. Oh, but I'm getting bored, Dave. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so that was it, really. Baked beans and peas have caught me the fish, and uh, I've had a flying skimmer, and I've had, you have had two flying skimmers. Then I'll shut up now, yeah, Alan, because yeah, yeah, you yeah. look like you're going to uh, wear. Sangle myself. Well, I don't know, but uh, yeah, poor match by me. Laziness, folks. Laziness. I should have, I should have loused the uh, margin rig off. I did think I'd get a few in that margin, to be honest. But I should have loused it off, shouldn't I? And just gone for F ones. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Putting the uh, mightiest to, to bed again with pipe and slippers. Nanite, Alan, Nanite. So uh, long, farewell, <laughs> hope you did say goodbye. Um, so, I um, hope you've enjoyed this one. Alan, anything to add? Yeah, I'm going to change that float and uh, prove I can catch on the baits that I've got. I think it's the baits that you've got. I but don't. I think I'll catch if I change that float. Chickpeas, and what else did you have? Beans cheese, or cheese. cheese, butter beans, chickpeas. Made a lovely paste, them chickpeas, by the way. Mm. Didn't catch out on it though, did Didn't you? Catch out on it now. So anyway, we'll leave it there. Okay. Well done. Uh, we're yeah, well done. We're Dave. allowed to do this now, aren't we? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll even give him a hug because he'll be crying in a minute. Oh, so uh, I'm going to be. I'm going to tell my wife on you. Well. I'm, say no more. I'm not bringing people's wives into it, Alan. So don't forget, folks, I've had a crap day today, but don't forget, folks, if you enjoy these little challenges that we do, we're always trying to think of things to do. I'm sure I can get one or two back on him, but it's his favourite. All these staff challenges, it's, it's his favourite kind of thing. We do like doing them, don't we, Dave? Yeah, it's enjoyable, keeps, isn't keeps it? Keeps you folks entertained. There's always got to be somebody mighty and somebody very semi-skimmed. He's been rather mighty and I've been semi-skimmed. What can we do, Dave? Look at them, Alan. See them guns? Proper guns, them, Dave. Uh, so don't forget, folks, if you do like these videos, let us know. We'll put a few more together for you. And if you do like Davey's video, because I'm sure this is going to be a damn sight better than mine, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. You'll get all his videos as he uploads them. And the same for Fish on TV. Correct. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, you finished the video very well there. I'll say no more, shall we? And uh, just just know this: four, four, ladies and gents, nil. Let's end it there. Four nil. Keep on bagging. Take care, folks. And fish on.